Okay, so you're doing well. You saw the video on the, you know, the Happy New Year video. You saw the Faith video. You saw the Fellowship video. Now we'll get in into the third video, which is finances. The third finance, uh, that this this third kingdom of finances is actually, uh, I think, probably the all-consuming kingdom, right? Because uh, from the flow of energy called money, uh, we're able to fuel and feed and take care of so many other kingdoms of our lives. So with finances, there's, I mean, it's 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 just got to be one of the deepest kingdoms. And the there's some basic questions um, that you want to ask yourself when it comes to finances, right? When it comes to this this part of your soulful journey. And one is, what is it that I owe? Right? What and what is it that others owe me? And have I taken full responsibility for everything that I owe? Right now, this is really, really, really the key to this. See, a lot of times there's things that we owe that we are not being responsible for. What do I mean by this? So, if you have an outstanding ticket, you have an outstanding mortgage payment, you have an outstanding, uh, you know, I owe you, whatever it is, you know, there's a part of us that's like resistant to that. We feel like it's unjust, it's unfair. You know, we've put in our share of whatever equity into the relationship that we shouldn't feel like we still owe something, right? But watch this. That resistance will choke out the abundance that could be coming, right? So take inventory of all the things that you owe and take full responsibility for all of it. And when I say responsibility, I don't mean blame. I actually literally mean look at all the things that are outstanding and say, wow, I'm responsible for this being due. Even though I don't have the resources right now to cover this, I am responsible. When you come from that powerful place, you no longer are a victim to your debts. You actually become someone who is victorious over them because now you're looking and saying, look, given that this is owed, I'm either going to do two things. I'm either going to pay it or I'm not. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, you just make that declaration. Now, when you say you're not, you have to also be very careful to take inventory of the impacts as well as the consequences of drawing that line in the sand. But the minute you do that, you do not reserve the right to complain when those consequences come to your doorstep. Right? That's also part of being responsible, right? Being willing to deal with the consequences. That might involve some jail time. For <laughs> some jail time for some of you. It might involve some court time. But whatever it is, you can't complain when that is the consequence, right? Because you've taken full responsibility of what you owe. On the flip side of that, the minute you do that, you can actually also take full responsibility for what you're going to generate to address not just the debts, but also the future savings or investments that you want to create. It's just that simple, right? Now, of course, some of you are saying, oh, it's easier said than done. But look, this is not about, you know, just the, the stuff that's just on paper, although that helps. It's really about making that soulful pact, right, that you are fully responsible for all the things that are weighing you down so that you now have the ability to actually be able to let them go. Right? When you can let them go, you start to rise and you start to accomplish some of the things you want to accomplish. There's so much more I'm going to be sharing about this particular kingdom. But this is where you begin on your soul's journey. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the upcoming videos.